What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Oh, man. Uh, I apologize for not keeping up. It's been one hell of an uphill battle with the uh, CRST. I can't, I can't really complain too much about it. But, you know, just being with my lead driver for a whole month. Uh, I, I don't like to speak ill about anybody. He was a cool dude, but at the same time, man... He was a pain in the ass. Like, he was destined to fail me on every damn thing. Um, just, a lot of things just didn't make sense. He just kept pulling a bunch of questions out of his ass for, like, you know, testing me. And, like, good thing I stuck with it because the old me would have just said, fuck it, I would have just left. Or either I would have been like, you know what, I'm going with another lead. But I stuck it out. I stayed true. Um... I stayed true to who I was, and I was just being humble. And just, I just ate a lot of shit and just said, the hell with it, man. I'm just here with you for about four weeks, and I'm out, man. I'm out. As in, like, you know, I'm done with you. Like, you know, I move on to an upgrade, as in, like, getting my own truck. So now, uh, now that I'm off the truck with him, um... Everything's smooth gravy. I could do anything that I want to do now. That's the main thing that I wanted to do. I don't have to hear him bitch about anything. You know, I'm going to try to keep the the cussing down a little bit. But everything's different, man. I could do whatever I want to do. I'm free. <laughs> I don't have to hear about anything like, oh, you're failing, you're failing, you're failing. Like, come on, man. You don't need you. Like, first things first. You don't need to be told that you're you're failing all the time. You want to be uplifted by like, or you just want to be given advice to how you should do things better. Like this guy would like literally contradict himself. He would tell me to back up and don't oversteer too much. But here, I will watch him do the same thing. Like it doesn't make sense at all. And another thing too, like whenever you go to CRST, make sure you have all your your um. Like, you know, you have a good, clean background or like, you know, you have little, little misdemeanors or felonies and your piss is clean. And also like, you know, another thing too is, uh, they were talking about it when I was on a training program. Well, when I was, um, at Nadata, they were talking about how they were getting ready to do, uh, hair follicles. That's another thing too. Um. One of the instructors has said that it wouldn't be fair if, you know, one of the guys or somebody came from um, Colorado or California or any other place that, you know, has legal legal weed. It wouldn't be fair because if, you know, CRST went back six months prior to that, how would that be fair to them if they already stopped smoking for 90 days? You see what I'm saying? It just wouldn't make sense. So, I mean, I'm not sure if they're going to do it or not. But, I mean, I hope not for the sake of y'all. If y'all trying to get clean. But, another thing too is, um, you know, let's get back to the upgrade topic. Um, I'm with the temp driver for now. Um, I'm down here in Orlando, Florida with my mom. Just reuniting. It was a good, huge experience to see my mom again. It was very, very very uplifting um my temp is with his family at the moment thank god you know he has family in florida with uh he has florida down i mean excuse me he has family down in florida also so it kind of works out both ways but at the same time wouldn't mind going home and seeing my own family um other than that man life is just pretty good on on my end i mean this 10 month contract is going to be easy breeze. I only got eight months left. So all I can do is just keep pushing forward and yeah, pretty much that. That's it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching my videos and liking them and subscribing and commenting. If you got any more questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them.
but, but for now, I'm going to just finish watching this football game. All right? So, meanwhile, subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions or just want to talk to me. Because after the 10-month contract is up, I'm either going to flat betting because that's something I really want to do because I'm trucking with Tay and Nice Visions. You got me onto that, man. And Guilty, can't think of his last, can't think of his last uh, four digits of his name, but Guilty, some, some guy by the name Guilty. But yeah, they're all three black dudes. They're my uh, inspiration and also Big Rigs. <laughs> the dude Chris from Big Rigs uh, all for my inspiration to come out here and do better but the main important mainly important thing that reason why I came out here to do it was because of my family I got tired of working these day to day jobs and everybody say that oh you're lazy you're not doing this you're not doing that but you turn around they're like you know taking like twice as many breaks and smoke breaks and not picking up their weight and stuff like that and you, my biggest my big advice leave those small companies leave those small companies cuz the best thing that I heard from one of the guys in the orientation class was you can have the option to tell them no. Once you have your license, tell them no. Tell those You can't once you once you get your license, man, you can't go back to these sixteen to seventeen dollar seventeen dollars an hour jobs, man. You up here making like 20 and up, man. 20 and up. You can't stop you. You can't stop yourself. That's up to you if you want. You choose that. But all I'm saying is that I'm out. I catch you on the flip side. Take care, YouTube.